The other thing I want to do is to actually make things more clear here. Now that I have my basic layout, it's very easy for me to grab some meshes here. Um, let's just go to our mega scans folder. Uh, we can just grab some meshes here and put it like this, you know, something like that. And we lose track. So we want to be very clear at the beginning. What we're going to do is to create some materials, one for the ground and one for the, for the walls. And this kind of principle you see a lot in platformers, where the player is here and the ground, as you say, the ground is like this. You know the ground, you can walk because it's green. And if you have like a platformer here, and you have another wall, and maybe the wall is always like this. So you can clearly see where are the vertical elements and the horizontal elements. And this is what you want to have. So we're going to apply the same principle here. We have our guy here, and we need our floor. So we're going to grab one of those starter content, click here, and check material. Oh, not this one. Reset filters, click here, material instance. Let's remove this one. Okay, and what we're gonna do is to go to our starter content, materials. Okay, these are not material instance. So what we wanna do is to create a floor material. Let's grab one of those to check how it looks like. Let's decide which one will work best for us. And um, I like this one. Personally, I like this one. So if you want to change the UVs, it's very easy. With the modeling tools enable, you can just go to UVs layout. And instead of repack here, you will click on transform. And then you can change the scale like this. Also, if you have a different material, you can actually check the checkerboard to check the density of your UVs. So you can see if it's, you know, good enough or bad. So for me, this is good enough. And this covers the whole floor. Let's check our walls. How about these ones? Could work. Okay. So let's change the UVs. Very easy. Let's go to our layout and we do the transform. We can do something like this. Or we can check the checkerboard. We can put six. And have our mesh like this. We can actually see our UVs here. Okay. And we can do the same here. Layout. And here, just put it here. Okay, layout. And actually, what I'm going to do is to do a project. Um, I'm going to put a cube and I'm going to put the checkerboard. And with this, I can change the axis to actually modify the UVs and just make sure that it's a square. Just like that. You want the UVs to be a square. Okay, click Accept. And what I want to do here is actually apply this material into my mesh, just like this. Okay, I'm going to save it. And there is a problem here in level design. <laughs> we have a material that looks like it's a wall, but it's not. And if you remember, when we played before, this was very clear. I can go here for sure. But now I'm confused because this material is the same as this material. So let's gonna change this. We don't need to go to Blender or 3D Studio Max to change the materials. We can do everything inside Unreal now. We can go Material Editor. And you will see I have my list of materials here. I'm gonna add another one. Okay, I'm gonna choose my ground floor here. I'm going to drag it here. 
Then what I need to do is to select the index. This is index zero and index one. I'm gonna select the index one. And then I'm gonna select the faces that actually need this. So if I click here, I will select the faces that need this material. And I will go and click assign. And know that assign doesn't work with the click. It works with the number we have selected. So if we click assign, now we have our ground. And now it's much more clear that you actually need to go. We, you can actually walk here. OK? So that's one thing. And we can continue to do the same and actually change the material if we want. Let's see if we find something a little bit. I don't know, it looks just a little bit different. Probably this one. But... Okay. Much better. At least for my taste. So, uh, you want to apply this material to all of your meshes. I, we can keep doing that until we finish our level. And we can do the UVs here. If you want to do the UVs, you can project. And this time we can use the cylinder. And you can change this one, something like this. Or if this doesn't work, you can actually use the layout and transform. Looks fairly OK. And let's do the transform again. Oh. Oops, looks like our UVs will be gigantic, crashing, incoming. Oh no. Okay, I click cancel. Okay, crashing, incoming again because I was dumb enough to put control Z. No. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I, can't, I can't help myself. Yeah. Let's just put two. You just got away okay. with with something and then <laughs> took a risk yeah. again. Okay. So let's forget about this part. I fuck it up. <laughs> okay. So what we can do here actually for our main objective is to make it stand out. So what better way to put the disco theme here? All right. And because we have Lumen enabled, we can we actually see global illumination going around here, which is great. We have the missive and we have the lights. 